Have you ever been stuck in a game, facing a challenge that feels like an impossible mountain to climb? Trophy hunters live for the grind and spend hundreds of hours trying to earn the coveted platinum trophy for their favorite games. But some of these games break even the most hardened gamers to their core, leaving some people to completely ditch the game and accept defeat. Hey everyone, it's Cheeks, and today we're talking about the 7 platinum trophies that completely broke gamers down to their core. Starting off at number 7 is Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX has to have the hardest platinum trophy of all the games in the Final Fantasy series. Having fun while playing Final Fantasy is great, getting its platinum trophy on the other hand takes a little bit more work. It's likely that you'll have to play the game more than once to get every trophy unless you know exactly what you're doing from the start. You'll still have to play the game at least three times to even get the platinum, even if you follow a certain plan to get every trophy. You'll also have to work hard for hours on end for a lot of it. For one, you have to kill 10,000 enemies. Even if you play the game three times, you still won't be able to face or kill 10,000 enemies. You'll need at least 15 to 20 hours to do this by yourself. A lot of people have also thought the Hail to King trophy was really hard to get. To do this one, you have to jump rope a thousand times straight without stopping. It takes time and effort to get good at this. Not only do you have to do this a thousand times in a row, but you also have to get used to having to jump greater and greater distances with rhythm changes in between. Next up at number 6 we have Injustice Gods Among Us. DC Comics and video game fans have had a great time with Injustice. You can choose from a lot of great characters and the fighting system is even better. You can play the game locally, online, or in a story mode. All three of these things will take a lot of your time if you want to get the platinum trophy for this game. To get certain trophies in the game, you have to do tough things like play 200 online matches and win more than 100 of them, which in itself can take hours upon hours. One also needs you to have over 50 million XP and be level 100. It's possible to get up to 5000 XP from a match, but that's on the low side, which shows just how time consuming this can be. On the other hand, that's not even the hardest trophy in this game to get the platinum. World's Finest is the trophy that stands between you and this platinum trophy. To get this one, you must finish all of the Star Lab missions and get 3 stars from each one. There are around 300 Star Lab missions in the game. You don't have to do any of the DLC missions, but you still have more than 240 to do. But the hard one people say is the most challenging is the battle mode. Having to beat 20 plus battles in a row with only a bar of health. All while each enemy getting progressively harder and dealing even more damage. Moving on to number 5 is Wolfenstein 2. Main Laban trophy for Wolfenstein 2's is one of the hardest to get on the PS4. This is a trophy that most trophy hunters like to avoid for obvious reasons. You have to complete the game at hard and high difficulties, but Mean Lieben is no joke. The game is a permadeath feature that works with this level of challenge. In other words, if you die once, the game starts over for you. This has to be done all in one sitting. Again, this game is set to the hardest level and you won't even be able to save it. To get this trophy, you have to be very good at this game. Even if you know what you're doing, it can still take you 60 or 70 hours to get this platinum. And on record, only 600 people have earned this. Best of luck to any of you that are trying this challenging trophy. In the fourth spot, we have Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. You have to be a real Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 master to get the platinum trophy. You have to do things like get 100 hits in a row, kill a thousand enemies with the obliteration techniques, ultimate techniques, Azuna drop, and guillotine throw and kill a thousand enemies with every type of weapon. Not only that, you'll have to also beat the game on all levels and kill a thousand enemies for each character. As well, there are trophies that are linked to team tasks. You can play with AIs, but you can be sure they won't be enough. Because the game is so hard, especially on the hardest settings, it needs not just one, but four master players. You have to play and beat the game at least seven times to do all of these things and more. Now for third, we have Super Meat Boy. It's not a wonder that the Platinum Trophy for this game is also very hard to get. You will need to not only finish the game all the way through, but also get an A plus in every level. It sounds easy enough, until you get to levels that are practically impossible to beat. After that, you have to make it through every level in both the light and dark worlds without dying. In light mode, it's fairly easy to do, but in dark mode is what separates the true trophy hunters. These levels take extreme precision and memorization of the levels in order to beat them. The lucky few that have platinum this game spent hundreds of hours doing so. Coming in at second is Street Fighter V. It takes the kind of skill that can be used by an expert player to get the platinum trophy in Street Fighter V. It's not a joke. 
Without a doubt, you need to be so good that you can play against the best players in the world in a competition. To get some trophies, you'll need to play the game's story mode, but to get the Platinum, you'll be playing online most of the time. You could be playing hundreds of matches and still not be anywhere close to the trophy. That's how many matches you need to win to even get close to the Platinum. Some people spend years and are still unsuccessful with earning this. You also need to join the Gold League to get the Let's Fight Someone Strong trophy. To do this, you'll need more than 4,000 League points. There are two reasons why this is very hard to do. One, winning a fight only gets you like 50 to 60 LPs. And also when you lose, you lose about half of that. Based on statistics, you'll need to have more wins than losses in order to get to 4,000 LPs. Besides that, your league level will go up as you get more LPs. You'll be up against tougher enemies online as you move up in the leagues. So to get up to Gold League, you have to be one of the best Street Fighter V players in the world. In other words, to get the Platinum Prize, you have to be one of the world's best gamers. And the final game that completely broke gamers down to their core is Crypt of the Negro Dancer. This game is so hard to earn its Platinum that it's almost evil. Here are the crazy things you have to do on top of the most basic ones to even get the Platinum Trophy for this game. Firstly, you have to beat the game. Next, you'll have to beat the game again without dying. Also, you need to do this for each character. And you'll need to do both of these again for each character. After that, you have to win 10 times in a row as Cadence in Deathless Mode. It, it's still going on. Next step is to beat the game with all of your characters at the same time without dying, and the game has 9 different characters. Have fun. After you finish that huge job, you have to play as Coda and finish the All Zones mode. You have to play perfectly when you play as this character, any mistake will kill you right away. There's still one more thing to get past after all of that. You then have to complete an entire all characters run without picking up any items or using any shrines. You should feel really proud if you can do all of those things. You'll be a part of a very small group. Of the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who have played this game, less than 20 have earned this perfect platinum prize, which makes this number one on our list. Now that we've unveiled the most demanding platinum trophies, we want to hear from you fellow gamers. Which of these challenges piques your interest the most? Have you conquered any of these Herculean tasks, or are you considering taking them on? Thanks for watching, and let me know down in the comments if you think there is a game I missed, or one you think deserved a spot on this list more than the ones we talked about today.